So in this session we will be seeing how to consume OData services. So in the previous session we have already set up our web ID destinations. So on the basis of that we will consume our OData service in this session. So let's just see the agenda of this session here. So first we will be covering OData overview. So what is over data and all we will be covering here and then we will see URL structure of the OData service. So basically we get an URL for this OData service and we will just see the structure of it and we will see afterwards the example on how to consume OData service. So let's now just move on to the next slide here that is OData overview. So what is OData? OData is an open protocol which is used to consume data from the backend that is using the REST principles. So it allows us to provide some additional query options like top and skip and all which enhances our experience using our OData service. Then OData has this specified metadata file that is used to display our connection, display our connection to the backend and then we, uh, if you want to see the metadata you could always see using the OData URL and followed by dollar metadata. If you write the dollar metadata afterwards, you can see the metadata of the OData service that we are using. Now moving on to the next slide, we could see here the URL structure and the how to data access the data. So basically we have this URL here through which we could access our OData service. So which contains of entity sets and all navigations association and all we could access using the service URL here. So when we are talking about the table, we get all the table using the entity set and all and we have this metadata that I have just explained using the dollar metadata after our service root URL we could access the metadata and then we have this entity set. So after our URL here this, our URL, this is our URL we just provide a slash and then we provide our entity set and in our case we have used product entity set. So product entity set here is the entity set here also. And it is all the entries of the entity set, example all rows of a column, table. And then we have this entity, if we are using the entity set, within the entity set we have the particular entities also. So it consists of keys and value pairs, so I have provided a key and which equals to a particular value. Similarly I have provided another key which equals to another particular value. So then we have this property within the entity itself. So if there is an entity like product and within the product there is a property like property name, it comes under the property itself. So we provided the service URL here and then provided a slash entity set, then we provide the key value pair and provided by the property itself. So property of our entity, example a field of a row, something like this. So this was the URL structure and how to access the data using the OData service. Now let's move on to the next slide that is how to consume OData service. Here I have provided the example and in the video that will come just afterwards I will explain all these steps in detail. So here I will just go through it briefly. So first we will create a something UI new UI5 project where we will just set up the web ID destinations as we have done in the previous session that we have uh, already set up the destinations in web ID. So here we will be using the ES4 public OData service. So now we have to mention the section in the new app.json file. I have display, explained it in the video and we have to set up the, our data sources in the manifest.json file provided by we have to set the model in the manifest.json file. So in the pre previous session we have seen how to use JSON binding. So there we have already also shown how to how to instantiate our JSON model. So likewise we will instantiate our OData model here in the manifest.json file. So when this is done we have to bind it. We have to bind it using a control. So here we could bind, use a list control or maybe form control or table control something like this. So we will use this particular control to bind the data that is coming from the OData services. So now we will see all these steps practically. So here we will be consuming an OData service and the OData service that we will be consuming here is this particular one ES4 system that we are ES4 OData service that we have already configured in the web ID. So this is the OData service. Let me just show you the whole OData service. So this is the whole of the auditor service that we are getting. If we just go into this particular product set, I will just copy it from here. In our 
tutorials we will be just focusing on this particular product set example entity set I will just copy it here and go further into the auditor service and here I am getting whole bunch of more data so we won't be using this whole data we would be only interested in one of the particular data so I will just copy this particular portion here so this number here this is actually the product ID on and on this based on this product ID we will be getting more data item level data that we say I have just pasted it here okay so this is the one particular data that we are getting under this particular product ID so we will be trying to bind form using this particular data one or two fields we would take and just show how to bind form so here I have this particular example here I will just show you so this is the views controller this is the view so here we have already used this simple form example in the last video just to bind JSON data so I will just comment this particular portion of code here and write on the piece of code for O data binding so basically there are five steps steps for to consume auditor service and the first step would be to change the code pattern here in the manifest.json file so we will be adding destinations here I will just copy it from the code snippet so sorry no destination data sources so I have copied it from here and I will be pasting it here I will add a comma here so this is the data source this is the ES4 system and this is the URL here so this particular URL this would be the same as this one here and the type is Odata and the version of Odata that we are using is 2.0 so we have defined this data sources here and the next step this was the first step the second step would be to define the Odata models and whenever we define a model we define it in the manifest.json file here in the model section so in the previous video we have already seen how we have defined the JSON model similarly we will be defining our Odata model so I will be giving an ID that would be model and within this curly braces I will write the code for data source that is ES4 and this is fine so the control would go from here to here so ES4 is written here so these two steps are over now the third step would be to make changes in the neo dot app neo app dot json file so neo as I already told you neo app dot json file is basically the project settings and all so like here we have given two paths here two different one the third one we have to give here I will just add a comma here and we will add the code for ES4 path for ES4 system just copy it from here and paste it here so here we have given the path here destination ES4 the type name and description all are written here we have maintained it here and I am just saving it so we are done with the third step now moving on to the fourth step the fourth step would be to bind the data and we are here in the view we will be using this form here and we will bind the data here I will just copy this portion and place it in the content so I will just I have shown you so here we are populating this particular data which is the product ID within the product set so this should be this name should be same this is same and this could be hard coded we could write anything but we are here writing as product ID itself so 
so that's done I will just save it so this was the fourth step and the fifth step would be to bind the form and we would bind the form in the controller views controller so view one here it view is here so its controller is here I will just bind the form in the on init function I have the code here with me and here is the on init function I will copy and just paste it here so here I am getting the reference of the form here with the base of the ID of the form that we have used in the view here in the view we have used the simple form and provided this ID so we are getting the reference of this particular form here in the controller so o form dot bind element model model we have given the ID in the manifest.json file let me just show you here it is no this is the one this is the ID product set is the entity set here this one this whole path should go here fine I will just save this so I think I am done with this there were five steps two were in the manifest JSON file one was to add the model here and second was to add the data sources third one was to add the new app.json file the path here the fourth one was to write the code for simple form here we have written label and input label the data was hard coded and input data was binding and the fifth one fifth step was to bind the data here we are using the element binding here and I will just save everything and just run it demo project 2 the title is coming and the form has appeared so no data is coming let me just find what happened there might be some error in the OData service I suppose let me just refresh it O form model I will just copy this URL and just recheck it ok here I have used different number that's why the error was coming let me just paste the real number so this data should come I have used some other number before so I have just now realized it the number was wrong so I have corrected it now let me just save this and rerun the application so this time it should work I suppose and here it is so the, the data is populated from here so let me just try with one or two more the category and supplier ID or something else so here in the view I will be just copying this portion copied and pasted it here one more time so we will be using the category I will just write category So this was the second field that while that I am using the third field should be name okay so that's it so there should be three fields in the form and three fields should be populated from with this audit service fine so product ID is coming and category is also coming and the name is also coming so this was the product ID category is notebooks and name is TC test 3 so this worked so this was simple concept of consuming OData service and binding element binding in simple form so that's it for this video
थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग